Ayan na sila. Oh my God. Ayan na yung bison. Oh my God. Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel, Trip ni Mike. Ang trip natin gagawin ngayon ay gagala tayo with Yuke and our friends from Calgary like Abby, Tita Vicky, and Hazel. Exciting kasi makakita tayo ng mga wild animals katulad ng bison, deer, elk, tsaka beaver. At sana hindi sila magtago sa wilderness. Tara, samahan nyo akong bisitahin ang Elk Island National Park dito sa eastern part ng Edmonton City sa Canada. A few moments later Family. Group or family, family right? right? Mm -hmm. Ah, iba lang. Pareho lang. Is, I believe. <laughs> or else, oh, may ayaw. Day pa sinabi ko. Yeah, 16. Thank you. Yeah, 16 lang. Is it work? Is it work? Is it work? Is it work? Yeah, after. Lagi mo sa bag pa yan. Oh, Hindi pa, kinukunan nyo ba kami? Hindi, ayuno. <laughs> Baka may map sila. Tanong mo. I don't think they have. Ah, ask mo nga eh. You can serve the map. <laughs> map. M-O-P. <laughs> Thank you. Di ka na ba? Ayun, di ka na dinig. Uh, Alright. Uh, good na. Thank you. Ano? Ano sabi mo? Hindi <laughs> mo kuya. Kailangan may kailangan mo. Doon ka sa gilaw. Ano yung rapa niya kapakita? Doon ka sa gilaw. Doon ka sa sa Ay, <laughs> Yes, okay. I don't Pwede naman tayong bumalik ba? Oh my god, it's yeah. so cool. Ang ganda ng trail. Oh my god, exciting. Hindi pa naman tayo bumalik. Wrong move. Malapit na naman sa inyo. Saka mga mahaba naman ang araw ngayon. Oo. Oh, oh. Kaya okay lang. Hindi pa ako ng jinx. Mamaya pa yan pagpapagin. Saan? Ito yung bulog. Ay ganda. 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 
ka, pag nandiyan ka. Ah, oo. Oh, oh. Mukha lang siyang ano, mababa pag ano. Ang dami na laman. It's called hunting the bison. Ang bigat ng bag mo. At ayun, hindi mo lang dyan ma, hindi pwede mong sakyan ni Ipad. Hindi ka naman hindi makakatayo. Pag nakakuha ka ng isa lalo. Ayun na meron siya ng ano. Pagpupunta ka dito. Ay, hindi ka nakastop sila. Sa sobrang lamo. Slow down. May geese on the road now. Ayun siya, o. Bison. Pasok. Pwet na naman ang aking nakunan. <laughs> Lagi na lang pwet. Bison hunting kami. Lagi kami nakakita ng bison kaso pwet lang. <laughs> Utility enclosure kapag lumabas na yung bison para di ka suhugin. Oh my god. Paano ito mabubuksan? Ah, hindi eh. Ah, okay. Siyempre, tatalon ka na nga lang doon, diba? Baka sabihin, baka sabihin na nakakita tayo. Mag-stop mag sila. Yan ang utility enclosure for emergency. I uh, saw it in Google that was it the one that people can uh, bring their vehicle inside? This one uh, normally is, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Unfortunately, it is uh, closed down now uh, for Why? vehicles. Um, we had a lot of activity here and not a lot of staff. A lot of us are still working from home. So we're just starting oh. to phase back staff in. Mm -hmm. uh, and just mm -hmm. since there was no staff, we couldn't monitor at all. Yes. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's been tough kind of getting everyone back, back in and into mm -hmm. the parks. Uh, but as we start getting back through, we had a lot of uh, the, the little ones, the little reds, the, the babies were, were out and about too. So we're just trying to, you know, balance that with, with the, the people aspect as well. But uh, hopefully we'll be opening this back up quite soon and we'll get the cars running again. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, as of right now, you are welcome to, to walk through it and mm -hmm. see what you see. But, uh, okay. Are they territorial, the bison? Bison? Um... Not so much territorial, they're rather nomadic, so they don't usually have like a home territory. Uh -huh. But right now with the young, uh, oh. they can be a bit more on edge. Uh -huh. uh, they might, uh, especially the mother protecting the young. Oh, yeah. uh, so we do advise staying 100 meters away, or we say use your thumb. You stick out your, your hand, close an eye. You can fully cover the bison with your thumb, you're uh -huh. a safe distance away. Okay. That works yeah. out to roughly yeah, 100 meters, roughly. Mm. All right. I think it's a little less, but uh, that's what we advise. Uh, these guys are just some older bulls, uh -huh. and they're just having a lay down and, and yeah. relaxing, so they're not as big of a as threat. Well as well as, yeah. yeah. If there others. was uh, young mothers here, especially, yeah. and with young calves, uh -huh. then we'd be a bit more concerned. We'd probably be able to stay a bit further back. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, these guys are at a safe distance. And uh, especially as we monitor the situation, make sure no one antagonizes them at all. We're, we're a safe distance away here. Okay. So I saw those enclosures. So, what do you usually do with a utility enclosure? Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. okay. What, what do you do with that? Uh, uh, nothing. This, if we need to access the utilities, um, they, we had uh, workers coming and they'll be working and then all of a sudden there'll be a bison behind them or something. Oh, like right, okay. Yeah, or the bison will be walking through and they might hit, you know, a, a, you know, a pipe or something that's sticking up and knock it over, then we gotta do maintenance on it. So it's just easier to have just a little green enclosure. Okay. Uh, it doesn't Got look it. the prettiest, but it does save a lot on, on maintenance and maintenance. Okay. Just peace of mind. I thought it's for people who encounter the bison. So, and no. then it's like an emergency <laughs> place where you can hide your... Yeah. Not especially. I mean, it's not, I guess, the worst place you could be hiding. Uh, hopefully you're never that close to a bison where you need an emergency, but uh, uh -huh. you know, you can always get some trees. A lot of it is just judging the bison and then giving them space. There's some signs you can see if their tails are raised, if they're, you know, posturing towards you. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes they'll do a bluff charge as well if you're really uh, antagonizing them in close. Okay. Uh, but that's why we really don't recommend getting that close at all mm -hmm. to begin with. They can move up to like, 55 kilometers an hour. So they're, wow. They're rather quick. It's so fast. Yeah, quicker yeah. than uh, the fastest human. So yeah. they're likely not going to outrun them. So that's why we want to stay this like 100 meters away because it gives us time to react and honestly it's quite far out of the bison's comfort zone there uh -huh. they're not as alarmed as, as us being this far so they're not going to feel threatened uh so they shouldn't even be really that alerted they're quite used to seeing folks up here in the uh, northern end uh -huh. the southern end's a bit bit more wild we don't have driving down there but these bison up here are used to seeing cars uh, day in day out so that's why we have the drive track we're not as concerned uh, okay people in their cars but yeah with everyone walking here that's why we're just being a little more safe and a little more cautious mm -hmm. Are you using guys the tracking system where you, you know, 
Uh, some of our bison are collared, so we'll, we'll put a, a collar on them. We don't want to put like a bunch of stuff in the ears or okay, anything like yeah. that, but it'll just be a, a kind of loose collar around them there. Uh -huh. uh, and that'll kind of monitor the location. Not all of them though, uh, very few, mm -hmm. but because we just do that to kind of see where the herd is and monitor specific bison sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but if we have, you know, one or two bison with it, they'll be with the herd usually. Oh, uh, so that'll okay. be a good indicator of where the herd is moving. Oh, so we'll have so a few of them collared. Okay. Uh, but not, not an overall amount. So we try to keep them as wild as possible. So we try to, you know, handle them as, as least as we can and, you know, don't put too much into them. We don't really vaccinate them if they're staying in the park. And just, yeah, we just try to keep them as wild as possible. Yeah. Hello, no, no, no. And the deer and elk, we, we haven't found anything. But yeah, so do they have here? They are here in numbers, yeah. Uh, it's just again at this time of day, especially in the middle of the day, a lot of our animals here in the park are muscular. Mm -hmm. So that means they're going to be active kind of at dusk and at dawn. Oh, okay. Uh, so animals like the fisher, the beaver, the deer, the elk, the moose, uh, even bison to a degree are kind of muscular. It's just the times they like to be up is more dusk, dawn, sunrise, sunset. That's, oh. that's usually the time that they're more active. Uh, so that's the time you're more likely to see them here in the park. Otherwise, in the heat of the day, in the middle of that, that they don't burning like sun, yeah, they don't want to yeah. be around about walking around. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, and especially the elk itself, they're they're rather timid to begin with here in the park. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they stay quite far to the outsides and into the bush. Like these, into the bush, right. Yeah, usually like, they, they don't come Among the trails. Road. Yeah. The, the bison themselves are pretty fine with the, the cars running around in the road. Um, but the, the, the deer. Elk and they're, a bit they're elusive. Bad. Yeah, elusive. That's elusive, right. right. Yeah. yeah, they're a bit, bit harder to catch. Uh, but you definitely can see them, so the park's just getting the right times usually. And just getting uh, lucky, honestly, sometimes. Yeah. There's right. like almost 200 square kilometers of park here, so they got lots of area to roam. Yeah, that's <laughs> so a vast. It's, it's a lot of being at the right place at the right time when they're crossing. All right, thank you so much for your information. You're very welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Ay, hoko! <laughs> Buho ng bayso, ng kapahal! <laughs> oh my god! Fresh na fresh! Ano to? Diarrhea? <laughs> oh my god! Dito sila dumaan! Or... Talaga ba? Or ano lang yan? Footprints? Saan dyan? Parang kasya ba sila dyan? Ito ah. Ang gold mine. <laughs> ang ginto ng kapalaran. Ayan. Fresh na fresh. <laughs> ang dami nila oh. Yeah. Yeah, naman. Have you seen one? Naman tas di naman sa sagot. I'm fresh. Oh, bakit dito sila naglalakad nila? Oh no. Ayan na sila! Oh my god! Ayan na yung bison! Oh my god! Nakakatakot!
ranger wildlife gardens. It's a carabao. It's a bison. Yeah, you guys don't get behind yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for now. Please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, Tripty Mike. Like this video by clicking the thumbs up down below and hit the notification bell for more updates. Follow nyo na rin po ako sa social media accounts like Twitter and Instagram at Tripty Mike. Like my Facebook page, Tripty Mike. Thank you for watching. See you again.